I reviewed Gelato in the past, but that review was focused on apparel. A few people in the comments of that video wanted me to review Gelato's wall art, so here we are. Quick disclaimer regarding the artwork I used here. It's not mine, I don't own it, it's actually by a Japanese artist called Kento. I'll link them in the description. I found him a while ago and I really, really liked his work, but he doesn't offer prints for sale, so I sadly wasn't able to purchase any. Then, as I was planning this video, I saw on his Twitter that someone asked him if they could print off a copy of his work, and he replied basically saying yes, as long as we weren't selling them. So, I thought I'd use his artwork for this review, and that way, I'll be able to have some artwork to hang up in my office also. So go check out his work, links in the description. So I placed an order for one frame poster using premium matte paper and then one museum quality matte paper poster without a frame. This was just so I could compare both paper qualities. I placed my order on July 4th. My order was then shipped on July 6th, which is about two business days for production, which I think is very, very good. Gelato gave me an estimated delivery date of July 11 to July 12th, but my order actually arrived on July 8th. So shipping took about two business days. Again, I think this is very, very good and arrived three days earlier than the estimated date. This is probably a good place to mention that I live in the UK and since Gelato offers global fulfillment I can only review what my experience is based on what they offer in the UK but I'm sure they have standards that their print partners have to stick to so you and your customers experience should be pretty much the same as mine. I always love how Gelato package their items. My t-shirt samples arrived in a paper bag instead of a plastic bag and this is the same here. My prints arrived in a cardboard wrap which kept the prints and frame secure. Inside, the prints were wrapped in plastic though, which didn't provide much protection. More on that in a second. To my surprise, when I opened the package, inside was two frames. So it looks like they included an extra frame by accident, but I'm not complaining about that. The prints do not come pre-mounted in the frames. You have to do that yourself, and Gelato are upfront about this. So it's not a surprise to me. You just need to explain this to your customers also. Upon opening and inspecting the prints, I notice that both prints are dinted. Very, very slightly, but I can clearly see it. For prints that you're going to be hanging on the wall, and prints that you'll probably be looking at a lot, they kind of need to be perfect. However, once the artwork was mounted, these dints in the paper were not really visible. After trying to figure out why both prints were dinted, I realised it was just simply how they were packaged. The prints were laid on top of the frame, then everything was wrapped in the foam stuff. But if some pressure was applied to the box, then there's nothing stopping the print from sinking into the frame and causing damage to the print. Ideally, the prints would need to be placed on a piece of cardboard to stop this from happening. Or they could just place the prints inside the frame. They wouldn't even need to be mounted, just placed in there to stop this from happening. Okay, let's take a look at the frames first. Firstly, there's no glass here. They have used plastic instead. Again, Gelato are upfront about this, so this didn't come as a surprise either. But this does make the frames feel cheap in my opinion. The wood frame feels solid but lightweight. On the back, the frame comes with a pre-installed hanging hook. Nothing more I can say about this. It's a basic frame, comparable to what you'd find at Ikea. Nothing amazing, but it's not bad by any means. Let's take a look at the prints now, starting with the premium matte paper. This is a 200 GSM weight matte uncoated paper. It feels very high quality and feels decently thick. It's not cardboard thickness by any means, it's just very thick paper. Looking at the print, and this looks great, it's printed exactly like the original artwork, super vibrant and colourful, and looks perfectly sharp. I have zero complaints regarding the print quality. Moving on to the next print now, this is printed on 250 GSM museum quality matte paper. Gelato describes this as museum quality poster made on long lasting matte icarval paper. This poster paper is more yellowish as no optical brightness are used during production. I can definitely see that this paper is thicker but not massively so. I'm not sure many people will be able to see a difference here to be honest. The paper is not yellow though or even off white. It just looks as white as the premium paper. Unless this has been printed using the wrong paper then I don't think this is worth the extra cost over the premium paper. Ignoring the slight increase in thickness I'm not really seeing much difference here. Looking at the print quality on this paper, this is very much the same. Very very good print quality and I have zero complaints here. Comparing both prints to their mock-ups on the Gelato website and these look exactly the same to me. Which is exactly what we want. I'll now go and get these prints mounted in their frames and I'll give you my conclusion while that plays. I've liked everything I've received from Gelato so far and these prints are no exception. The production time was fast, the shipping time was fast and the prints received are very high quality. Yes, we did have some very slight damage to the prints due to how they were packaged, but I don't think this will happen with every order. Plus, it's something Gelato could fix very easily. The frames, while not amazing quality, are fit for purpose and look great once hung on the wall. Overall, I'm pretty happy with these prints, and I can definitely recommend Gelato for wall art. As usual, all links are in the description. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.